love bugs is rustling back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing ex uh growing extended family just thank you so much um being able to know that a lot of my videos are being shared and a lot of people are coming to me from you know word to mouth is truly appreciated i love the fact that y'all email me and i'm able to you know help you along the way is truly a blessing to me so allow our, our our community to keep growing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line um even if it's about the positive feedback the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you find the video gives you good uh good vibes or good you know good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend uh or a fellow empath that are going through some trying times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for this love and support is truly appreciated and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video Y'all, listening to this meditation is so beautiful. It's like black screen. Um, it's called Lucid Dreams Music for Sleeping. 432 hertz soothing sleep music for lucid dreaming and theta waves. I'm feeling the, like the pressure right here on my my um third eye, and it's just got really got me, you know, just like ooh. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, my video today is Twin Flame 101. Hey, cuz come you come to realize that the same energy you feed your fears double your energy to feed your dreams and desires and that's so true you know we're going on this journey and there are so many people i'm connected with you know that's automatic reaction we're all aiming towards something we're all aiming to heal from things we're all able to know um aiming towards things that we're trying to learn more about ourselves more about our gifts trying to find out if we have any more gifts why are we going through the things we're going through there's so many speculations and different questions and you know qualms or wonders or whatever that we're aiming towards in our life or we're, we're trying to get the answers for towards our life but it's a lot of times you know i've connected even within myself we're all human we're all working in a process of you know letting go of our fears not feeding our fears you know when we we always talk about what we don't want that manifests manifests more things that we don't need in our life you know it's just like you know when i conversate with somebody and they're like i don't want i'm like ah, brr, uh, oh i <laughs> make all that noise like don't finish that don't bring no energy towards whatever you are not aiming towards in your life and you know if you're a numbers person like me like my dad said starfish and coffee you know that video you know that that song is like a person a, a girl a special girl that is you know fascinated with numbers which i am um you know, I read into a lot of them. You know, there's any time, you know, you're, you're going through your mission, you're doing your duties, you're doing your life work, so whatever, you're working on yourself, you're helping others too. You know, with you being a Hayoka, you reflect a lot of things about yourself and others as well that we need to pay attention to, we need to change, need to let go of, or, you know, bring more attention to. You know, so it's just like, we, we the energy that we feed into our ego, the energy we feed, feed into our doubts, um not believing in ourselves like not having faith you have to double that energy to place it in your dreams and desires because those are the things that's going to really count you know when you start seeing things for what they truly are knowing that you have to trust the process like i said in my other videos you have to be able to trust the process and know why you're going through the things you're going through you know i had to really step back and look at mine you know like i told people before I didn't have faith in myself. I didn't have faith in the universe. You know, so many bad things has happened to me in life. I just really thought God just like, you know, put me on, put me on the uh, do not answer list. You know, uh, I really did. But just being able to know I've been tested so many ways. Some, you know, some tests I failed. Some of them I passed with flying colors. But then I had to really look at it like, wow, you know, this is what it was teaching me. You know, I was placed in this certain situation and now I get why I had to go through that situation. But there are sometimes I can look and I'd be so mad as I don't know what. I'm like, look, universe, we really need to talk. You know, we here, 
but we ain't here. You know, all this stuff going on, I'm really trying to understand why I got to go through it. But you always have to trust the process and knowing, you know, you have to really know that it's past the seeing eyes. It's, you have to really look at it like, what is this situation teaching me? You know, like I've said before in other videos, we might be stuck in a certain chapter of our life, but you will never be able to go to that next chapter. They'll let you know there's so many signs. They'll give you little snippets of the things that you're doing. You know it's going to happen, but you don't know how that's going to happen, how, what the process is to get you there you know you're going to be there because they're allowing you to see the confirmations to let you know hey these things are going on in your life but you need to be able to let these things go i have to be able to learn how to let my anger go i can't be mad at the people that placed me in this situation because i was supposed to be in here anyway it goes way past of what I, what abuse I went through it was way deeper than that you know I had to really understand that it was and really get the true meaning the true you know just of what I was experiencing in my life and it's like it's blessing me beyond measures I tell God even on, on days that I'm pissed I allow God to know I'm grateful for that experience even though I might have got mad I had to be able to you know get mad get over it and understand why i had to go through the things i've gone through because it really benefited me there's a lot of times that we're not aware of what they have blocked in our life for our benefit you know there's sometimes you might be mad because you might be going to a job interview paying the right thing got the best you know dental plan vacation time you know comp time whatever and you got blocked from that job you're like god dog y'all know I'm, I'm qualified for this and this and that and you know anytime we're blocked from things or we're, you know things come up missing in our lives or you know certain things have been altered in our lives it's because god has god universe whoever you you know you pray to has better plans a lot more better plans for us you can be praying for something else go through hell and high water so many times you probably got freaking flyer miles people know you by first name hey how you doing rachel hey how you doing rosalyn my god dog how many times you seen me enough to know your daggone name yes so you had to go through those trials and tribulations it can be frustrating because you feel like i should have been such and such place by now you have to understand everything is that divine plan everything is that divine timing but you already know if there's a certain situation in your life you are heading towards and you're trying to feel like look i've been stuck in this situation too long you had to go through that whole process you have to be able to trust that you went through that whole process to be able to you know learn the things that you learned being able to see the things that were unseen you got knowledge like i tell people i know it can be aggravating and overwhelming going through that same rotating door looking at you know you're in that dark night of the soul waking up to the same nightmare every day feeling like you know what was that movie european vacation anybody ever seen european vacation no if uh what's his name chevy chase when he went to rome and all that stuff and kept going around that same circle same circle same circle he just mad as i don't know it trying to get up out of there but you have to be able to pay attention to the roads pay attention if there's any cars in the way for you to be able to maneuver yourself into that place that you were supposed to be you know um there's a lot of things that we put fear in you know there's a lot of times we put fear where fear ain't even supposed to be there it could be something so simple. You you already hyperventilating. I don't know how this is going to happen. You don't know. But you got to have faith in yourself. And you know the universe is going to happen. You know maybe something good is going to come out of it. But you, if you keep on thinking about what if it won't work. What if it don't work. What if it don't work. Then you're putting that energy in it's not working. And then when it don't, don't work. You say see I told you. But yes you manifested that. You have to be able to have faith in the unknown. Which is hard to do. You know, but it's just the fact is we're not going through a certain chapter just for our health. It's like, you know, there's times I felt like I was being punished by God because of the things that I experienced, you know, as my adulthood as well as my childhood. But if I really, really, really think about it, you know, um, it allowed me to know even though I'm not where I want to be right now, I get so many signs to let me know that I'm going to be there. I'm working my butt off to get there, you know, but I have to be able to have that faith within myself, not let others negative, other people negativity or, uh, you know, negative vibes block me. Because a lot of times there's people in your life that's just, that's the only reason, that's sometimes the main reason, your attitude towards the universe and your attitude towards yourself. And then the negative people that you're dealing with is a reason why you have not been able to elevate towards that next situation. There's a lot of people that you got to get rid of out of your life. You know, there's not, every not everybody is not supposed to be on that journey with you. 
you know, and I tell people that there's a lot of times we put lifetime expectation on seasonal people. You have to be able to learn, okay, this is what I need to learn out of this situation. Ain't no hard feelings, but, you know, you just can't go where I'm going. You can't. You know, you have to be able to believe in yourself and know better days are coming for you. But as many, much, much energy as you place into that ego, that negative thinking, and I have to tell myself that, apply that towards things that you truly want in life. But you have to double that amount, you know, because we put a lot of power into our uncertainty. We put a lot of power in disbelief. We have a lot of, we put a lot of power in, in, into things that, that keeps us at a low frequency, keeps us constantly thinking about the things that have occurred in our lives that we have no way of changing. And I have to keep telling myself that every day. It's like, you know, you're going through that healing process. So while you're going through your healing process, a lot of old memories will conjure up. A lot of things that you have endured in life that was not so pleasant, very painful. It's like coming to the surface because it's allowing itself to be released. Don't wander on and I have to tell myself that. Don't do it knowing that they're going to mess. Let it go. It's like you, you're running yourself in the muck. Like you're in dirt. You know, I used to love playing in mud pies, but I'm like, now I'm like, oh, heck no. You know, I'm not four or five anymore. I can't stand mud pies. And that's what you definitely doing. You know, allow yourself to understand why you had to go through that situation. Be able to make peace with yourself as well as that situation. And if it's people that you need to let go, allow them to go with love don't be hateful you know i had to tell myself that too a lot of people put some hateful things on me have said a lot of hateful things towards me you know just pray for those folks and i have to really keep telling myself that pray for people because i have to tell myself as well even the pain painful situations you're feeling right now is not even going to match the amount of blessings that's about to occur in your life which one you want your blessings or this painful misery that's not taking you anywhere your blessings gonna take you anywhere you apply yourself to be but that blood that daggone negative you know thinking and your fears and you know your disbelief that ain't gonna take you anywhere except give you a stroke gray hair wrinkles on some medication and you probably an unwanted addiction you know you need to not be able to you know do those different things so allow yourself to come to peace the things that have occurred in your life allow those things to be set free you know i had to tell you know i love a, you know earlier today you know if i if i help people and there's a certain situation i've been in i can use my situation without actually going into detail about what happened but just let them know this is the outcome this is what i did this is what i had to do you know and it worked for me you know, hopefully it'll work for you, you know, because it's just like if you go into detail saying, oh, I remember this. And if it's not pleasant, you know, or you're allowing yourself to go through that whole situation like it just happened today. You don't need to do that. And I told myself that. And it's just the more it's just that like you're just torturing yourself when you do that because it's allowing you to feel those same feelings you had. So with, which it does happen. But, you know, I had to really tell myself that when things are popping up, think about the things that you're trying to aim towards or think about a memory that makes you happy to put a smile on your face or you help somebody put a smile, you know, on their face or something that made you laugh. There's a lot of times I put on things that, you know, help me raise my frequency or watch silly videos or, you know, go singing, play my guitar, go out nature walking, anything. You know, because it's just like if you want so desperately the things that happen in your life, you have to be able to focus on that. Don't focus on things that you can't change. You know, you only can, you know, do, you have to be able to just let things go. And I had to really learn that. Let it go. It's, it's a lot better. You can make peace with it. Dead and bury it. Don't bring that mess back up. It ain't not even living dead, so you ain't got to bring it back up. So, but I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I want to give a big up shout out to Casey Shaw and Nikita Howard. Much love to the Howell, my bad. Much love to you. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Drop me a line. Uh, let me know if you resonate or even give me your positive feedback towards the content of my video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing I, as well as other people, are praying for your better days. And so now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I will see you on my next video. Peace.